surrounded by the rolling hills of the Virungas, on the fourth of the highest of the Virunga peaks with the majestic rise of Mount Mhavura, the view of the less known but historic lecture half comes to light. This expedition showcases NBS travel show of the amazing journey through the scenic route of Kabale Kisoro Road to the untold history of Lecture Hafi, which has birthed a resort to its name and turned out as a fast-growing and full-package tourism destination. The Kabale Kisoro Road in western Uganda is one of the country's most scenic routes. It passes through the breathtaking ranges, where a clear view of the volcanoes shared in both Rwanda and Uganda can be seen. The endless corners on this road are an adventure of its own even before you reach the destination of your choice. It's not surprising that the road is a favorite for both tourists and the locals alike. After approximately six hours of this journey, we touch our destination, Lecture Hafi, from where our story begins. The welcoming staff at Lecture Hafi Resort takes me around this completely unspoiled natural beauty. I'm taken around the permanent canvas tent and suit cabins and was glad to find warm shower facilities at Lecture Hafi Safari Lodge as the coolness of the weather is not what I'm accustomed to. I was also presented with an option to pitch my own tent, which I declined courtesy of the journey fatigue. I realized this resort as a perfect place for a peaceful retreat from the hustle and bustle of the city. I was born in this village. I fished on this lake. I did everything a child would do on this lake. As I grew up and went to school, finished university, started work, I was deployed at Chanika border. I was working like a, an enumerator with the Bureau of Statistics. And I saw a lot of uh, tourism potential. I was seeing many tourists coming in from Chanika border, going to Rwanda, going to Lake Bunyonyi, going to Mugahinga, going to Bwindi. Others were coming in, crossing over to Rwanda. There was so much of cross-border tourism. And I am like, oh, wait a minute. But we, we as a family have land on this lake. Why can't I develop something on this land? And also this fits into an attraction. My mind told me that, okay, I think calling it Lecture Half Resort makes sense so that I can make, run a campaign of promoting the lake alongside the resort. And it has begun to yield results. What is the history of this lake? Why do you think it's not well known to many people? Actually, this, this is a lake with history. Okay. If you compare all the five lakes in the region, actually there are, yeah, there are five lakes, Lake Punyonyi Nikavare, Lake Chahafi, Lake Mulehe, and Lake Mutanda. But the two lakes with the history are Lake Chahafi and Lake Bunyonyi. I and Nelson, the proprietor of Lake Chahafi Resort, spent the day relaxing at the lake and later an evening next to the fireplace after we had enjoyed a local delicacy. Well, because this is the greater proximity of all the lakeside resorts, whether it's Chahafi, Mm. It still fits within the biggest destination mm. of uh, mountain gorilla tracking and of course the scenery also. The beautiful scenery, one of the kind you don't simply find anywhere else. The next big will have your free and all the boats, lots of trails. Also, give an opportunity for a swim. Mm. This beautiful campfire right here reminds me of those days when we used to have our grandparents tell us beautiful stories about the significant lessons of life. 
the untold history of lecture happy continues after the break